Next tonight, risky rides at the amusement park. A roller coaster scare sent nine people to the hospital when cars flew off the rails. And in Phoenix, several passengers left hanging when their ride suddenly stopped in its tracks. Here's ABC's Alex Marquardt. Dramatic new pictures tonight of the high wire rescue on that Phoenix roller coaster. Park staff carefully balancing along the tracks to the cars that were stuck 35 feet above the ground. Firefighters climbing a ladder to the three stranded passengers brought back down unharmed. Oh my God. Far luckier than fellow amusement park goers this weekend in Scotland. Nine people on the tsunami roller coaster plummeting and landing upside down after the ride flew off the rails. I turned around and all I could see was one of the carriages hurtling towards the ground on top of one of the other rides. Tonight, eight are still in the hospital, including two children in serious condition. A lot of screaming, shouting, crying, tears from grown men and women. And this isn't the first time this ride has had trouble. Five years ago, passengers were stuck on it for eight hours. But overall, park rides are incredibly safe. The chance of being injured in the U.S. at a fixed amusement park is one in 16 million. The day before the accident here, the ride had actually been closed because of an electrical issue. But the park owners insist that this roller coaster is inspected every day. Neither the park nor the police have given a reason for this derailment. And tonight, the park remains closed. George. The investigation will continue. Alex, thanks very much.